Hello and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I am Jen, Amanda, Kathleen, and we're the team behind Yarnia, um, Montclair's local yarn store. I just came back from vacation and <laughs> am... And re-entry is hard. And re-entry is hard well, and it's the first day of wow, school. Wow, that's a hard re-entry. And well, it's like, I know, oh I, my God. I know I said that to you, it's like good luck on re-entry and as I'm driving up here like 15 minutes ago this morning, I'm like, re-entry is hard. I re-entry was is hard. For, I was gone for three days. You had one. Well, I was gone for like, two weeks, but it was a lot of. You had a reentry that, like, you know, when the plane lands and it's been really boom, boom, yeah, and then everybody claps. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. We landed. We landed the plane. We're all still first here. day of school. <laughs> not the not in back. the book. First day back. Oh, two days of pouring rain. Too. Two days of pouring rain. We drove through. I don't even know how many Storm, hours. Right? We we and yesterday, you know, we can come. We dropped Haley off at school. We wouldn't. We will put in a picture of Haley happy at her oh, door. Oh, miss you, Haley. <laughs> I will Haley. make a note. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so I usually always try to make sure we get home when we're doing that drive. Get home in the daylight because yeah. it's, it's a long day. You gotta unpack. It's just a you gotta, lot, like, you know, even just the, the feel. Like driving at night, you're like, uh. Well, driving at night when you've started in the daylight is That's just hard. it's even more tiring That's somehow. Hard. So. Um, well, and you guys were there was a front line. That went just north and west of Montclair yeah. for like all of Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. actually, <laughs> we had a lovely Labor Day weekend. I went on a picnic. <laughs> nice. The kids went swimming for the last day before they closed the pool. Uh huh. <sighs> yeah, it was lovely. Y'all. We had, had like <laughs> a lot of rain. Highs of sixty-eight. Of well, and you know, ninety-eight percent humidity. Yeah. And, so humid. Um. At yeah, least the Catherine elevator, up there. right, right. And the elevator worked in the dorm this year, which was good. Yay! So we have to walk things up, but Thank it was a million degrees in the dorm room, and I had my usual assignment of hanging things up and all of that, which is fine. I like that, making the bed, whatever. But just, it's but so hot. I was dripping, literally yeah. dripping sweat. I was so disgusting. Oh. And then, then we drove around for a few hours. We had lunch in Northampton, and I'm like, it's almost four o'clock. We need to get on the road. Yeah. <laughs> so How long does it take to get? From there to here, it. I mean, it can take three hours. I think okay. if you left at 11 p.m., it would probably take three hours right. because you know whether you go yeah. in Connecticut or whatever. Right. So I always map it before we leave to see, you know, depending on how late it is. Um, it, it's between three and four hours normally. Okay. Um, it can be more depending on how bad the traffic jams are at different oh, places. Oh, yeah, I hear that. So I go ahead and map it, and I, I was looking. I'm like, you know what? We've been out in Connecticut a lot lately. Maybe we'll do Mass Turnpike to the New York Thruway. It's mm-hmm. it's 40 miles longer, but it actually can take it less can be time. Quicker. It yeah. can take less time. We decided to do that, and then I mapped it again. It said tornado warnings in Connecticut. <gasps> oh no! Um, and I'm oh. like, we picked the right route. <laughs> so I didn't hear about any tornadoes. Hopefully, all of our friends in Connecticut Not did okay. Well, I hope everybody's yeah. okay. Let us but know in the we were, comments. It, it, it rained the entire way home and was like blinding. Like could not see. And like most takes people a lot would pull out of over. You. Most yeah. people would pull over. I'll tell you. Gene would never pull over. <laughs> Gene and I. <laughs> See you, Gene. He's a yeah. southerner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. He grew up driving into... Oh, one of one of our first big trips together, we drove into a hurricane. Uh, <laughs> I say that. You always take me to the best natural disasters. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Best. Only I, top shelf for coupling. I that's right. Had those experiences coming back from the Cape where you're like, where they're like, tornado in the Merritt Parkway. I'm like, well, I'm not taking the Merritt. <laughs> well, I know. Uh, totally. You know, yeah. and I'm like, I don't pull over either. Yeah. I'm like, I, do I go slow and drive careful? Yes, I do. I pull over sometimes. And it it depends. If you really yeah. can't like see, last, it's, yeah, if you really can't see, like it's last just, Labor Day storm. <gasps> God, that was bad. I don't even remember that one. I'm oh, that out. was the one where the where Grove Street was a river. Yeah. Oh, I oh, that was that. Labor Day? Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's been a year. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Catherine yeah, I, was driving back to Connecticut that day. Oh my god. Oof, yeah. And she pulled over. I was like, find any Good. gas station and stop now. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, flooding is okay. flooding. Yeah, we had a we had a lovely trip home from the Cape on Saturday where we left three hours late because of various packing things. Um, and then Ollie got car sick and oh, no. threw up no. oh, in the Ollie. McDonald's bag. Um, well, at least it was good in the bag. Boy. Put it down in the car. But on the part of the throughway, right before Just, the Tap and Sea Bridge. Did yeah. you have one of these? Did he have one of these? I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get sick. And then the driver was like, you can make it. 
You can make it. Hundred percent. I was the driver. I was like, we're almost at the bridge. We're almost at the bridge. After the bridge, we'll stop at Rara's. You can go throw up in the bathroom. Right? No. Always. Right before. Pull over. Just pull over. Just pull over. As soon as you hear, I think I'm gonna yeah. be. Pull over, pull over right there. But I mean, he had been saying that all trip. So I was like, mm, you nah. also didn't need anything except for Italian ices in the morning. Poor like, what are we Ollie. talking about? Poor little buck. Um, so he finally loses it, like, at the part of the New York Thruway where it's, like, twisty turny. Oh, yeah. that, and it's course. like, That's you the... can go on the Taconic Parkway. You could go on the Merritt Parkway. But you can't go anywhere where there's a gas station. Right. That's yeah. So true. I was like, there's you got to hold it there. for three exits. And then we finally pulled over to the gas station. And, yes, his booster seat is in the dumpster behind that mobile <laughs> um, station. Because, yeah, gross. Yeah. Uh, and also, he's big enough. He no longer needs. Yeah, he's, I'm sure we, he's... we. We checked, he had been pushing for it, and I was like, you know what, let's just drive it home. Right and then, now. And he's like, great, I don't have a booster seat. I feel great. <laughs> and I was like, so now my car ha is fully stocked with some fantastic uh, spray cleaner and paper towels. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's first. We yeah. had many. Abby gets car sick. Yeah, Max Aww. too. It's, so, me too. So, oh, like, I remember once we went, this is, Abby must have been three, and we went up to Maine to see her sisters at a music festival. Uh huh. Camp, summer camp at that time. Now they go to festivals. Then it was music camp. Anyway, we went to Maine. In Maine, you go blueberry picking. Yes. Oh, no. The best. Abby oh, no. ate far, far, far more no. blueberries than went into her bucket. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. We She's back like, to blueberries camp. for sale. Kerplunk, yeah, kerplunk, yeah. Kerplunk. <laughs> I love that. Thing. So, anyway, you can, um, for the sake of our viewers, I won't go into detail about what and happened, but you can you imagine. All you to say was blueberries, and I know. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she did. I love picking wild blueberries. She, oh. But that one, I did pull over as soon as she started like, Mom, pulled over. Everything Smire. was fine. Yeah. But that is, she remembers that. And there's yeah. not too many memories that you have from three years old that you like. Yeah, like, that are true. It has to be like pretty traumatic. <laughs> that was yeah. a core memory for Abigail. Yeah. Max, Max would always get car sick. Um, and Jonathan, who never gets car sick, did not. It was like he's just bored, and that's why he's crying. And I was like, he's not bored. And if you hand him a book, we're in a disaster situation. Oh, yeah, really. The yeah. number of car seats that I've cleaned or thrown out um, mm -hmm. before we. Well, not we. I figured it out. Uh, I knew <laughs> before we routinely gave Max his special vitamin of kids drama me uh -huh. anytime he was in the car for more than twenty minutes. But then. We got cocky because he out, kind of outgrew it a little bit. Uh huh. And then Ollie never had that problem. And now, guess what? Ollie's getting his special vitamin of kids' drama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, and do you do the bands, the C bands? Uh, that never worked for us. It never worked for me oh. either. I don't know if it's placebo effect or whatever, but it works for Abby. It, it works, if it for, works some for Abby. People. Yeah. Um, Max, uh, for some, some of Max, if he starts feeling a little like, not the great, uh, peppermint gum. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah mint or ginger can help. Mint or ginger. Or um, what got we used to have, the essential goggles. oils that you put them on your chest. Oh, yeah. That, that can really help. I heard, it. did she get the motion sickness goggles? She did, and she did loved they work? them. They worked for her, and Gene's home screen on his phone is her wearing them, making a very silly face. I love, so I'm sure she those. will not let us put that in here, but if it is If you guys hilarious. haven't seen them, look it up, because it is amazing. Abby has they, some. I'll put a little video of her in here with her goggles I, on. I want to get them, because if I don't drive... Yeah. God, if, uh, if That's I how Haley is. She'd prefer seats, to drive than than yeah. ride because it helps the motion sickness. And hundred percent, yeah. I don't get motion sick if I drive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, because you're controlling. It's like you're the, controlling the. You, you want to hear something weird? One of the only times I feel motion sick is when someone else has got the remote control of the TV and is like going really fast oh, through the channels. Wow. That makes me feel like I can't watch oh. that. That can really trigger headaches and things for me and just general yuckiness. I don't, thank goodness, I don't normally ever get motion sick because it's a lot of my car knitting time. Oh, God. Right. Uh, I can't knit in the car. Yeah, Haley can't. I can't knit over. in the car. I can't read in the car. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't do anything but can you sit. Do you just the car. Nope. What? Yeah. No, Haley either. Because yeah. even just, like, because I can knit without looking. Right. I mean, I'm doing it for the most part right now, but ever so often I do glance down. Yeah. And, like, that alone will kick me into it's the worst. It's the worst feeling. Mm -hmm. Um. This is not a podcast about being motion sick or re-entering <laughs> or, you know, going up to Massachusetts and dealing with the traffic of Connecticut, which let me tell you, the traffic of Connecticut is there. Yep. Um, this is, in fact, a, a podcast, podcast about knitting. About knitting. Crochet. 
weaving, sometimes spinning, sometimes, sometimes yarny things, yarny things, fiber things, yarny things all the time, yarny things all the time. Um, um, and I do we have grass. two around towns though. Oh yes, yes. tell us the around towns. Um, I promise, I solemnly swear, I will <laughs> um, get this podcast up on Saturday morning. Yay! Yay! Because Saturday afternoon for any of our. Early morning oh. viewers, Saturday afternoon is the end of the Jazz Festival <gasps> in Montclair. Oh. Like downtown, there's going to be so much jazz going on cool. Saturday afternoon. Uh, all like all afternoon. Gone. All the way 5, 7, you know, like I think it is like 7 at night or something. There's parties all afternoon. Uh-huh. So if you have some time and it's a lovely day, you should go out and Hopefully check out the end of the Jazz Festival in downtown Montclair. It's Yay. so fantastic. Super fun. Mm -hmm. they, and they did it differently this year. They really, they did a lot more like yeah. small events throughout the summer, which was kind of fun. I love yeah. that because, mm -hmm. that, you know, there are some times where, especially for events like that, where it's like, if you're away or you have... Yeah, if you're like, away the day of the big thing. It's right. Like or like if the big thing, the if it's like a rainy day, then right. you're like, the weather's oh, crappy. this is yep. too bummer. But like to always have a little bit, yeah. I feel like that just also kind of continues like the party vibe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which um. Uh, if you are coming to Montclair on Saturday afternoon and you're viewing this podcast on Saturday morning, September 10th, 10th, 10th. Yep. don't drive down Bloomfield Ave. No. Just don't. don't. Yeah. Go, go around. Go outside. Watchung mm -hmm. is your friend. That's and right. also where Yarnia is. Come see us. So, yeah. <laughs> come swing by and then head on we over. We are open 11 yep. And there's a lot of good streets that go mm -hmm. south off of Watchung. And then you can so enter you can go down North or, Yeah. Um, Park yeah, Street Fullerton, or right around our corner yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Then you can knit or crochet while you listen to jazz. That oh, sounds like a lovely, lovely, lovely. I hope the day. weather is good. Yes, I will yeah, do it there. I do too. So yeah. I'm. I don't know. I'm thinking about going and checking some of that out on Saturday because I actually I was here on Labor Day weekend. You were here all I'm Saturday, all Sunday, Saturday, yeah. all Sunday, mm -hmm. and I'm off next weekend yeah. for the first time in forever. <laughs> Well, and I'm not traveling, right? So right. a lot of times when I've been... You're off and not, you're around. Uh, yeah, I actually don't have that much to do. It's going right. to be great. What are you so, going to do with your time? I think I'm going to go to the jazz festival. Yeah, for that's sure. That's a good answer. Um, so that's then, one around town. That's one around town. And then the next weekend, which is our not podcasting week, is the Upper Montclair Sidewalk Sale. <gasps> I that's love right. the sidewalk sale. It's, right. too. it's around the corner for me. So support lo local businesses. Mm -hmm. We have a lot. We've got... Um, several shopping centers in town. So the Upper Montclair Shopping Center is just up Valley Road mm -hmm. or up Park Street right here. A little bit north of us. Um, so yeah, if you're coming to, to Yarnia, you've had that already in your calendar for the 17th, <laughs> like I know you guys do. You can also pencil in afterwards, so. let's go by the sidewalk sale in yeah. Upper Montclair. I know my kids are going to love it. Oh, I love that sidewalk sale. Yeah. So there, it's the sidewalk sale, and isn't there also, is that the weekend of the craft fair in Anderson Park? Is there, yes, they, oh. they do it so at it's, the same it's time. So it's coincide. Yeah. So you can basically like shop from the local businesses and then go mm -hmm. stroll around Anderson Park where they have great local craft vendors and other vendors. Yeah. We have a lemonade and then go pick up some Jackie's Grillette or yeah. some They had lobster rolls in the... Uh, last rolls? year at the Anderson Park wow, wow. Art Fair. Wow. I should well, tell Jonathan that he loves Oh, that's where I saw Max last year on his bike with his friends. Yes! Because <laughs> I, I was like, get out of the house. You're killing me. And <laughs> yeah. He and his friends went riding bikes and like rode around, got th got themselves. And he some looked snacks. so big, I was like, "Is, is that Max?" I know, oh right? He's <laughs> taller than me. And he just today is me. He started eighth grade, right? Eighth oh, grade. I was I was thinking about that this weekend. Well, what would be a high schooler next year? I can't yeah. even driving in three years. Yep. Yeah, Which yep. God help us all. <laughs> that was like you're not driving until you, you know. Lily sure. got her driver's license. Did I tell you? Yay! Yay! Congrats, Lily. Lily. Yeah. Very so nice. now she has freedom. Sweet, sweet freedom. Mm. Sweet, sweet freedom. Yeah. Um, I did love that. Yeah, I know. I can't believe I have an eighth grader because I like vividly remember eighth grade. Uh -huh. Like vividly, uh, yeah. and that's the part where I'm like, this is the part that I always like. It's always not like a struggle, but it always kind of like trips me out a little bit about parenting, where it's like. I remember being your age. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I remember it. I yeah. remember everything that happened in eighth grade. Yeah. I remember, like, the friend drama and, like, the eighth grade the last trip to Washington, D.C. Yeah. And how like, things feel so important. So important and getting, yep. like, a and, like, terrible every, haircut. Everything is the most important thing right. in your life at that point. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I look at Max, and also, like, what's interesting about Maxie and is he's always been this way, and it is kind of amazing because it is certainly, oh, my God. <laughs> 
God, the bunny is cute. I may have to redo the ears, but we'll see. Ear placement. (laughs) But the thing about Max is that he could care less what other people think. That's good. Incredible. Good. Adam that is an excellent quality so going weird. into eighth grade. Exactly. Absolutely. I, I hope he stays that way. I don't too. understand this though. Me either. I I kind of was that way. Care what people think. I kind of was that way. As especially. I've gotten older, like as I'm entering my fourth decade, <laughs> finally, I start to not give a poop. It took until forty. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And even then, I'm still like, mm, what if they don't like me? And then I'm like, yeah. it's okay if not everybody likes you. But exactly. I have to not say it to myself. Mm-hmm. And Max, like, yeah. he needed a new thing on the back of his phone because the old one, it was like the pop socket. The pop socket. And it was like <laughs> the... super gross, right? Uh-huh. And I got him a clear one. I didn't know what pattern That's he wanted. That's what I just got. I love so the I clear didn't, one. So it doesn't mess my. You new you're not a 13 year old no, boy. No, that's true. And yeah. it's not like disgusting where I'm like, what <laughs> color is that? It's just so, a pop socket, but I think that interrupts like the being able to charge it. Well, they, they also have ones now that slide off, that slide off mm. so you can put it on the charger. Huh. Yeah. I'll have to think about that. I, I, I occasionally just pop mine out. So I don't um, love my case. I got my case like right when the phone came out. Mm-hmm. And I really like glitter on my case. I'm sure everyone is shocked with that. I I saw some glitter cases when I got my phone and I thought of you. Uh, (laughs) I would really like dusty pink glitter. I used to have all this podcast glitter. um, There is some outside the Apple store that, you know, that little kiosk right there. Who on this podcast is shocked? Comment below. They are shocked at that. But I don't have Apple phone. I have Android. And so does Max. Um, (sighs) And so he has Jonathan's old phone. And, uh... We were at Staples getting his copious amounts of new binders and, like, <laughs> color coding because, bless that boy, he's my child. Um, and he was like, I need a new pop socket. I'm like, you, in fact, do need a new pop socket. And we were looking at the options, and he's like, I like this one, I like this one. One of the ones is, like, a marble, and one of the ones is, like, like a rose gold Mandela. And I was like... I am not one for gender roles in any way, shape, or form, but I was like which one do you want? And he's like, what do you think? And I was like, well, I like the marble and I like the mandala. The mandala might read as like a little flowery. And he's like, since when do I care? Like, he's like, I like it. Since when do I care? Something might be girly. And I was like, attaboy. Go for it. Go for it. And he's like, can I get both? And I was like, (laughs) as a reward. I was like, yeah. We talked about this beforehand. I mean, that's like, (laughs) Abby's like, can I? I, Smart. Yeah. Canny. And at that point, we had been in Staples for an hour, so I was like, fine, get oh in line. God, oh they, know. They, they know. They know when to they ask. Know when you're when gonna the give they know when to ask. And I'm like, I am so proud of you for, like, screw your gender roles and, like, go with the one that you want. And, like, I like it. Plus, you can't make a decision. And, oh, my God, I just want to check out. I think mm. this generation is going to be so much more. They're so much more in tune. Yes. To, like, they're yeah. like, what else? Um... Ollie, however, is my child and cares what other people think. Aww. But also wants to be his own person. Right. Mm-hmm. But also cares about what other people think. It's a really hard little yes. dichotomy for him. Thank God Max does not, though. Yeah. Because he's like, I mean, I'm wearing my cat playing Dungeons and Dragons shirt, and I have my pop socket with the mandala, and my hair is to here. And I was like, just brush it, please. <laughs> just brush it for me. Yes. So, yeah. But yeah, eighth grade man. Eighth, eighth grade. grade. <sighs> So, so let's get into it. That's enough non. Yeah, that's content. enough digression. But thanks Sorry, for the y'all. around towns. No, that, yeah, yeah. the around towns. Yeah. Well, we've got. Uh, well, summer is always sort of a slower season, and I feel like now we're gonna. Nothing's really up. ramping yeah. up. And it's yeah, been two way. years since we've had a lot of around towns. We used to do around yeah. towns at the beginning of every. That's true. Because there was so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. Montclair is such a fun town, and like if you. If someone's not telling you or you're not tuned into like you, know. you don't even know what's going on. It's impossible yeah. to know all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. So anyway, that's everything. what I always like to bring what I'm excited about. Should yeah. we also tease one more like potential around town for I was a couple thinking of that weeks? Too. Yeah. Um, go for it. Our anniversary sale. Yay. Or birthday sale. Birthday however sale. We, yeah. However we want to phrase it. <laughs> we'll be coming up soon. And it's more like a birthday celebration. Yes, yes, yes. Because um, we are almost a celebration. <laughs> yeah, actually, as it's scheduled now, our next podcast will be out after it has started. So we should yep. talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah, so we should talk about yeah. it a bit. Yeah. So it's coming up. The dates are? Friday, Feb- February. February. <laughs> February. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a big re-entry. <laughs> Friday, September 23rd. 
through Wednesday, September 28th. Ah, very exciting. So we're going to have some fun stuff coming your way. Uh, sign up for the newsletter and you'll get all the information, all the details. Um, all the things, and we are turning, uh... Wow. Do you also know what podcast number this is, by the way? <laughs> no. Who can tell? Um, do a guess, do a guess. Jen was a lit major, can you tell? Yeah, numbers are not my jam. <laughs> uh, situational math is my jam. Yeah, yeah. except, except when it comes to knitting. You're, knitting you're math. Right but knitting. counting? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're funny. Catherine's taking the one math class that she has to take as an opera vocal major. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bless her. Well, I helped her with her homework last night. They're doing like all the math around ranked choice voting. It's oh, really complicated. That's that complicated. is so that's complicated. Very complicated. I, I was like, I wonder if they did that because they felt like it was a real life example that might get some interest. Well, no, but they're doing still... it's basically voting and finances, and that's what this okay. class is about. Wow. All right. But the voting is hard. Definitely hard. hard. That's hard. Yeah. The actual act of voting is not hard. Do it. Do it. Always do it. But the math that goes into like who wins? Yeah, the rank choice for, for okay. Sure. Rank choice. The rank choice is an awesome system. It is. Um, it's confusing. So I'm gonna say this is podcast 85. Am I right? You are right. Yes! It is number 85. That, that's like the oh. second time I've done it. Oh, and it's no. funny. I thought... I was totally going to say 83 that last I thought I had um, eight, winner 84 down here, but I did not. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I also you know, like how Kathleen anyway. thinks you, that I say it. Yeah. Because I'm like, do 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 It's also our fifth birthday. I was going to say fifth, but I was yeah. like, wait, I got to no, count really back. Are. And we then I got to see how old We were on Valley Road for three years. Yes. And we've been here for two years. Yes. Yeah, so see. that's amazing. Five yeah. years, man. Five years. Kicking went, it. Went by like a blink. It really did. It really did. Yeah. But like, well, I don't know. I had two babies in there. Yeah, it's so true. Blink. True. More of a blink down. Amanda can count the babies. <laughs> yes. I'm like, and Ollie do, do, do. was such a little. I was a little Kelly yeah. holding Ollie, the little peanut oh with her hands. Yeah. He was three. Yeah, I know. He was a little three. And he's like a person now. He's, he's like a person. And with a personality. With a personality. <laughs> and let me tell you, that kid is a cutie little smart ass. <laughs> he's tall too. Uh, going into third grade. Yeah. Or in third grade. I can't That's say going yeah, into third grade. Yeah, it has started. I know, it is a fun year. It's like, he's the little, he's like the little big kid. Yeah. yeah. He's on the second yeah. floor. Very yeah. Aww. Um. So, yeah, our birthday sale is uh, coming up. Our birthday celebration is coming up. And so, make sure you sign up for the newsletter because that's mm -hmm. where all of the information is going to be disseminated, as well as like Instagram, Facebook, all that fun yes. stuff. Yes. But really, like your first chance to plan will be through the newsletter yes for sure mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um and we're trying to see if we can do online and in store right we're here yeah here we'll, there'll be some variant online. May, maybe we do different things online than in store maybe that's the way to do Ooh, it that's interesting what do you guys think what what would well we're just trying to like figure logistics there too because yeah. Amanda and i were talking about it the other day and it's it's just hard within the way the system works to yeah. have yeah the same things, you know, so maybe doing There's, different things. We have limits the on the ways I can configure a sale, right? Like, because we use, I don't code our whole website by hand. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so I can't, so like our platform gives us certain ways that I can configure sales. Exactly. And then our in-store in sales platform gives us different ways that other I can ways. configure sales. Exactly. So Probably to make best. like the same thing here and there is somewhat impossible. Yeah. So we've got to sort of make things compatible-ish. But we'll, we'll so, figure it out. Yeah. That's, that's a good, that's just another way to look at it. That's, that's an Amanda that's, problem. Yeah. yeah. Your problem is figuring out what awesome stuff. Right. You're take and what kind stash. of plans you've got for the fall and figuring out, mm -hmm. like, what are we going to make and all that fun stuff. So that's another thing to look forward to. Um, and it'll be in full swing by the time you see next podcast. Oh, yeah. It'll be so fun. So, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it'll be super fun. But if you're, in, if you're around, make plans to visit us. Make yeah, plans to local. visit us beforehand, too. I mean, yeah. come on. we're giving you reasons to come to Fun Claire every weekend. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. For sure. Plus, we have new stock. We do. Uh, like, we and do. New lines. And I new took colors. And, oh, I put up so pretty. five new items online, and I actually nice. had a customer call, um, and I told her like I'm literally taking pictures right now that I'm going to post online, and if you go to our homepage and scroll down, mm -hmm. there's always a new. It always product, shows you the newest things, and you can see yep. what I just posted. Yeah, so that's such a good tip. I love website. that. Which is, yeah, that is a really great tip because sometimes you're like, mm, I don't know, what's new? Right. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, right under the banner on our home screen is featured items, and that's what we talk about in this podcast. Yep. The featured items there, and then a little bit further down the page is the new items. Cool. Cool. So, so let's get into... Let's talk about some finished objects. I got nothing. I have... It's been a, it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get as much done this weekend as I expected to, or yeah. hoped to. How well, about you, Amanda? I finished my goals for August, guys. What? In the Good. month of August. Excellent. How? Um, Teach me your ways. <laughs> don't renovate. Bullet journaling. And don't, run, and run. Don't, don't, don't come home from vacation with all of your furniture piled into one room. Oh gosh, step, yeah. That's step, step one. Scary. Step, one. <laughs> step one. Well, I did go on vacation with six children. I, this is why I don't understand how you can do this. This is magic. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I put them to bed and worked on socks. So all right. That's the first thing that's done. I earned my sock bingo. Yay! <gasps> Yay! So I actually yeah. finished it, so I did. I showed this last time. Woohoo! I finished my sock bingo chart. This is also on my color picture. It. Yep. I took a picture and put it on my Ravelry page. Nice. Did cool. you put it in our thread too? I put it in our thread. All right. All right. I've been I've been offline for the well, last three okay. days. Well, that's okay. At like 10 p.m. last I'm, night, I I'm, put a picture in our thread. I'll I was the... caught up before I went away, and now I, I get yeah. to catch up again. Too. I I did put it in our thread. <laughs> Yay! On the last day of sock bingo. Well I'm done. Such a good student. One Get year. under one, the wire. One person emailed at 11:39 last night. I was very. It proud counts, man. It totally counts. 11:39. Yes. Yeah, that as counts. As long as it's before midnight. So these are my four. Uh, my five socks. Yay. Do you want me to hold some of you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is graduation. this one. Jasper Ridge. Love Se- it. Beat second sock syndrome. Working Ooh. on third sock syndrome. <laughs> Right, this is the second of the pair. Oh, the first nice. one was too small. Mm-hmm. Made the second one that's now the right size, so I'm making the third one the right size now. Yay. Cool. Okay, second one was Magnolia Socks by yeah, Helen ding. Stewart. That's this one. Mm-hmm. And we got the, the, the Hal and Sophie colors in, and then I just had to knit two pairs in this. So this is Hal and Sophie, and Calcifer mm-hmm. is the heels, toes, and cups on this one. I love the way that looks. I it's so love pretty together. How that came out. And then I did my gift knit. And this is the I always forget the name of it. Also Helen Stewart. Also Helen Stewart. Uh, Luminary. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is a Luminary socks by Helen Stewart. So I'll stand up and do this. So you can tell the size difference. And Helen Stewart, this is a medium. Sorry, Kathleen. That's this okay. This is a yep. medium. <laughs> we wanted to focus on the socks. This is a large. Right, so that's the difference in sock size. You can see, like if you put the medium over, there's about another inch of length. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, no, I definitely knit it to pattern, so like the, the length is longer too on the large in the pattern. And there's 72 stitches instead of 64. So anyway, ta-da! Ta-da! That's my, those are my five socks. I did it, I did five socks. Did it. I did a bingo. All right. You got I it. officially earned my progress keeper. Yay! Woo! I Yay! did not earn mine, but I consider earning mine for you doing the You did all the work. <laughs> I, I just started a set. <laughs> so, you still, you can have one too. Yay! <laughs> so congratulations to all of our other sock bingo, bingo finishers. Yay! Yes. Yes. And actually, so many people did so great. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and I'm so excited because, and it will have happened before this podcast comes out, but. Yep. We are doing closing ceremonies on Friday night. Excellent. But it's on yeah. YouTube, and I'll link it below. If exactly. You want to go see the closing so, ceremonies and get some sock inspiration. Exactly. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get, you know, an, a nice number of people. So many people did so many amazing things. We had yeah, right. at least three people completely fill the board. Oh my goodness. And there were a couple of people at yeah, um, just like personal, um, you know, personal goals, and they did it. So that's awesome. And like we talked about, you know, offline. Um, we are going to give each of those folks a $25 gift certificate to your Nia because we think you're awesome. And yeah, that's, that's a, a big amazing. accomplishment. That's above that and beyond. We're, I mean, we're proud of everyone that got a bingo. I and did a lot of that worked I on it. A lot of I'm proud of anyone who started it. Let's get, let's get real. There, I'm proud of everyone go. who there. started it because well, I started it. That's me too. <laughs> yeah, but I started. I did have a lot of sock I did a lot of socks. This is a lot to fill that board. It really is. That's a big accomplishment. It really is. Should everybody give themselves a little pat on the back? Yeah. I mean, I felt like it was a big accomplishment to knit five socks this summer. Yeah. Yeah, it was Totally. It was a lot for me. 
Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you would like to show as part of finished sure, objects? Sure, I have another finished object. Because like I said, I got my August knitting done, my goals. Mm -hmm. Okay, my other goal um, was to finish, speaking of knit-along, uh, or make-alongs, mm -hmm. right? I finished my Hooked on Granny's Fay for August and I wove in all the ends for all my squares. Yay! What? Okay, that is like a major accomplishment. I feel like we should get like merit badges, right? Sure. Like girls. Oh, I like that. I've like, been wanting to make those for such a long time. And I then... wove in my ends. Yes, <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Get a your little merit like, badge. Maybe um, a pin. Maybe we should do a pin. Mm -hmm. Pins are heavy. No, oh, she's totally doing a project bag. That we could do a canvas bag that you can put your. Uh, or we could yes. do we could do stickers. That would be fun. Oh, Ooh, stickers! She's stickers are good. Water bottle. Yeah. Oh, exactly. on a yarny water bottle. On yeah. a yarny water bottle. Let's do that. Yeah. Write it down. I am. I am. Because we'll because <laughs> we'll forget. We'll forget. <laughs> and when I say we, I mean. No, I me too. Me too. That, that's okay. why I'm writing it down. So that's why I finished my. Scribe. I finished both of my. <laughs> Did you see the last episode was copious and scribe? I saw Haley that. was copious, I'm scribe. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Hooked on Grannies by Hooked on Sunshine. We're working on a crochet along for this blanket for a year, 12 months, starting in June of 2022, going through May of 2023. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing squares that long, and then you'll have to make up the blanket over the summer. We'll also go through making it up, but it's going to take... That's a good idea. It's going to take a little time to make it up. Yeah. Um, having made up blankets before, square blankets before. And then you'll have it for the fall of 2023, which, which is, is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. You don't need it in the summer. No. No. Um, but anyway, um, I'm doing two squares a month. You can do as many squares as you want. You can jump in whenever you want. And like I mentioned to our group um, last time, is I'm going to have some ideas of projects you can... Like gifty things you can mm -hmm. do, or home things that you can do with just one granny square yeah or the inside of a granny square so you can get ideas mm -hmm. for gift knitting this will be a good you know or for shame to bird type thing yeah you can you can work on your hooked on granny's blanket as well as have some ideas for gift knits in the next few sessions so anyway this is Faye pretty There's colorway number one colorway number two I love how nice. different it looks with the different colorways right. it is so cool yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. the colors are even in the same types. order uh-huh, you it's just started so a different point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, those are Faye. And then I have, I think, this was, I don't know. Is this Paula? No. You see? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, I it, think that's Paula. That's Paula. And I wove the ends on Paula as well. All right. Yeah. I, I showed you my cheaty ends woven and tied in the back last time. But this time I actually did them. And then this was Ooh. the first one. Um, Billie Jean. Mm-hmm. So, uh, two okay. Billie Jeans, so now I have six squares. Wow. And one of the other things we always say about these make-alongs is that, um, you know, it's a year long, you can, you know, jump in any time, you can skip a month. I opted to skip August. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I didn't didn't get to it during August. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not even sure exactly what size blanket I'm making, so I'm just going to catch up and start on the September one. Sure. Yeah, sometime soon. Do so, what works for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, we do have kits in the store now based on both Amanda's palette and my palette because those are the most requested. And if you want to get in on it later, we're also still always happy to make you your own palette. Yeah. Totally. So if you come up with some colors, we have so many colors of cotton sock now, which is what we are choosing to do this it's in. It's so fun. You I could love do this. it in another yarn if you wanted, but I love the way it looks in the cotton yeah. soft. I feel like it's also, it's a really great thing if you are going to give it. It's a multi-season blanket. It's a multi-season blanket. I like a blanket with a little bit of heft to it. Yep. And I feel like Cotton's it's got that weight. the kind of thing where if you're giving it to somebody who is not a crocheter or not a knitter or isn't necessarily going to be delicate with washing something, this is perfect. I mean, look at this. Machine wash machine. Seriously? Guy. Three by three is a perfect baby blanket size. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. If I was do doing three by three, I'd be a third done by now. Mm -hmm. No, two thirds done. Two thirds done, because you have. I'd be two thirds done by now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That is and a that's a good baby, baby blanket. You could do three by five. I mean, you have so many options. And honestly, I, from one kit, if you were doing a three by three, you'd have plenty in one kit yeah. to mm -hmm. do a three by sure. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a throw for my mom's sofa. And so I've got four squares now. Um, I'm going to see what it looks like with 12. Yeah, you know, we'll yeah. see. That that may be three by four, maybe good. That'd be a good lap. I might be able to that go would. a little bit bigger. A little couchy. Go a little bigger than that. I'm doing five so. by five. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a cuddle throw on the blank on the couch. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's mm -hmm. going to be all year, all twelve, two of each 
-hmm. and then I'm gonna pick one of the squares that we don't do mm -hmm. and do one of the other ones. Perfect. Yeah. So that's it's good twenty five total. Uh-huh. Perfect. That's my Love plan. It. So anyway, that's my other finished ish because I finished the squares for yeah, August. You finished. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. I've actually thought about breaking it down in Ravelry and putting the squares by month as finished because yeah. it's like until I, I hate leaving it until the end of the year to have it be completely done. Uh, because well, if you, as you are doing my it each last, month, you, you know, kind of want to check it off. Right? Like, I did that square. Afghan Nidalon, um is still a whip in mm -hmm. my Ravelry mm -hmm. because there was a border. Yeah, but I never finished the border. border I remember. I, we use the blanket all the time. Yeah, yeah, and it's but the border, border is still not done, yeah. and it's going to get done. Yeah, it will protect I mean, the edge for the next fifty years. Yeah, so true. the border needs to happen, but it's not happening this year. I so the baby blankets that I made both of my boys, I didn't put borders on them until like two years after they're made. It does uh -huh. protect the edge. It does. It absolutely does. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. oh, you know what? Like for Max's, I was like, he was little and it was the perfect size when he was little. And then he got bigger. And I was like, all right, so I'm going to add mm -hmm. like a four inch border of crochet all the way around mm -hmm. and you're good to go. And I That's did the great. same with Ollie's. And then That's also great, yeah. like I just broke it down. Like, it, it breaks it down and works well with my inability to complete things these days. Um, and those days as well. Someday this is going to be a conference call project for like two months. It's just to knit this. It's a rope. It's a seven stitch cable. Uh, it's a, it's a oh, eight yeah. stitch cable. Mm -hmm. But it, you just have to knit it. Forever. It's attached, though, right? And you then you, or do you? Oh no, you knit it and then you attach yeah, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going to yeah. take a long. Time. I would one hundred percent pick up the stitches around the end and knit it and attach it in the same because then it's flexible. But then you're you holding the whole it. thing. If you're on a conference call, you're on a conference call. Where are you going? I guess it's a lot. I don't like holding. It's a very heavy like blanket. That. It's a forty-eight square blanket. Yeah, it's a that's winter a big conference blanket. call. <laughs> oh, in a yeah. cold room. We're <laughs> heavily air conditioned. That's there when I go. seamed it. I seamed it in the summer and yeah. my house is always chilly because everybody else likes it chilly. Mm -hmm. So I seamed it in the summer. There you mm -hmm. go. Um, the other thing that I finished is I finished Laura Nelkin's Quickie. The oh one. yeah. Woo! Woo! Um, I showed you this one last time, her Lasco. Laxo. Laxo. It's hat. funny. I keep wanting to say Lasco too. Yeah, because yeah. we have the Lasco Worsted um, from Ancient Arts. Uh, which would also be a great oh my God, yarn. So nice. Nice you can put the Laxo in the Lasco. One of my favorite hats from last year. Yeah. Oh, There's that pale blue really nice. one of the Lasco. Yeah, time. Beach Heather, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I oh showed God. you this one last time. I knit the Laxo in the knitted whip. Um, and mm -hmm. this week I finished it, except I have to weave in one end. The top end is woven in, but whatever. This one will get woven in when I get my needle out again. Um, I made it again in Alegria Grande in the cedar color. Nice. Love that color. Yay, so this Very one is pretty. for Beth. Um, like I said, mentioned last time, she works in food service and they have to wear visors. She hates her visor and her management says she can wear my knitted hats instead of her visor. <gasps> Perfect. So that's what she always does. And she had two that she was wearing last year um, and they got super grungy. Um, including, if you remember the um, knitted bit cotton candy one, yeah. the, the, yeah. the brioche one that mm -hmm, I made with mm -hmm. the reflective on the inside. Yeah, she was wearing that one. She tossed it in the wash. Oh no! And dried it. And oh oh, it's oh no! Stiff and small. Oh jeez! It's got to be something that could be used oh. for right. a so basket. That's <laughs> why I'm using the Allegria Grande this that's time, washable. which is wool and poly. Yeah. Super wash. Machine wash and dry. She can probably. wash and dry. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you can. Oh, she is. Ooh. Not going to shrink that again. When you're in food service, you need to be able to wash and dry your hats. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to make her one more because thank you guys so much for the hat recommendation. What oh my gosh, such great suggestions. recommendations. Yes. So I and actually did a spreadsheet. I did. I made a Google sheet. I'll link it below. It's it's publicly viewable, so you can see it. Um, and you can click through and see all the recommendations what that people made of like hat suggestions. patterns. Yeah. And somebody recommended the apple pie by Tin Can Nets. Yes. And we know Beth is such a baker. Mm -hmm. Such a yep, baker yep. that I thought apple pie would be perfect for her. Cute. So she also picked out the Barocco Ultra Wall, which is another good toss it in the wash yep. mm -hmm. and dryer, yep. good super wash worsted. Um, so I'm going to make her an apple pie by Tin Can Nets out Cute. of Barocco. And that's one of my September to-dos. Yay. All right. So that's all my finished objects. I've nice. been busy. I you did, have been busy, busy. I like literally set goals for the end of August because I was like, I had this knit along to finish. I mm. had our crochet along to finish. Mm -hmm. I had the sock bingo to finish. I'm like, okay, I'm going to not do anything else 
and finish these like smaller projects mm -hmm. so that I can meet my knit along deadlines. Mm -hmm. So yay, that yay! Was, I'm happy with that. All right. And it Sorry, was. I've talked a lot, but I do actually have good. to go in like 25, 30 minutes. So yeah. we should be good. We should be good because I've got nothing. <laughs> What are you working on? Oh, oh, what are you working on? I'll tell you what I'm wearing. Okay, I haven't uh, done my finished objects yet. Oh, do your finished objects and then we'll go. <laughs> Sorry, so, I thought you went first. Um, no, <laughs> reentry is hard. Did we mention this? <laughs> and Amanda talks a lot. Um, so even though I didn't do my uh, crocheted squares, mm -hmm. I did do a lot of crochet. I was really inspired by the kits that we got from Hardycraft. And um, so I, I forget, did Haley do one? Oh, she did the rattle. That's right. She did yes. the mouse rattle the right mouse away. Rattle. So I knew how, you know, the instructions are great and everything. And when we got our restock of the kits, one of the things we got was the birds. <gasps> so Look how cute this is. Cute. Oh my gosh, I'm going to come around. It's going to take a sec. Yeah, but I saw the, I want to. Um, I've got actually. I've got to do a keychain. We also got. You know, the keychains are cute. They're right behind us. Which is Whoa! We're all like, Sorry. Look at the so thing. look how cute this little bird is. It's so adorable. And in the pattern, he does have like a little top knot thing here. I didn't love the top knot, so I left it off. <laughs> but that's the bird. And actually, so cute. The yeah, other one here. I did is the bunny stack. Yes, while mm -hmm. I'm up. So and this oh. one was a whip when we got here, but uh, it became a finished object because I just sewed his ears on. So I it's love this so cute. and um, it literally does function as a toy. Uh, you can take love these guys that. off and I did a little, the pink stripes are not part of the pattern, but it's so cute. But it's so cute. And um, I am a very loose knitter and crocheter and I was running low on the blue yarn and I was getting worried I was going to run low on the white, mm -hmm. which the white would be a problem if I ran out. <laughs> Yeah. Because you got to finish the bunnies ears in white. So I went ahead and used the yarn that we had, um, that I had the most of, because the pink ring is the smallest, and did the stripes. But that's so, so cute. I love the stripes. Isn't it? I thought it was fun. It's I a fun little super touch. fun. Yay. So. That's so um, cute. Yeah, so those are the two Hardycraft things that yes. I did. Oh, which. How much was left over from the bird? Um, Could you have done another bird? bird? That's my question. I did. I had leftovers with the bird. I yeah, did, leftovers. but not not enough to make another whole. Maybe thing. to make like a little baby bird. Maybe, maybe, yeah. So I, I love his tail. Like bird bird. So the oh, way you do it, yeah. you um, you know, they t they tell you to do the first one, and they're like, now do the same thing, but keep the yarn on the front instead of having your ends on the back. Oh. So yeah. So it was um, it was fun. It was definitely a little bit of a mental exercise to do it. Also, it was a different style of crochet chart than I've seen before. Oh. It was more like, and th these are all from the Netherlands, these kits. Uh -huh. So I don't know whether that's just a common way to chart, um, to chart crochet there. Was it more like a map? Yeah, it was more like a color map, actually. Oh, yeah. But cool. the thing I found confusing was the way they had the increases, mm -hmm. because they showed the increases in the row after you did them, kind of. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, I got, uh, that makes a little so bit of sense. I, though, yeah, because that's where the actual space is. Yeah, then, but that's where the space is. So I did, I followed the words on this. <laughs> I'm usually a chart girl. But you know what? Like that's both the are beauty included. of having both the yeah, charts exactly. and the words. Yeah, yeah. So this this I did while Haley was packing here. Like I was kind of her moral support as she was getting all her stuff together. Did that, and then I started on this guy, which I love, and he's going to be in the store. He's um, adorable. He's so, so fun, cute. right? Cute. And as a parent the soft toys mm -hmm. like this yeah. that are functional are awesome mm -hmm. because even if rowdy two-year-old boy throws a ring it's not going to break your tv yeah yeah very true right where if you get a wood toy it will crack the screen of your tv as three weeks before the super bowl just saying it will happen <laughs> it, it could happen it could that's happen that. to you <laughs> wood toys are lovely until you get to okay. step on it or mm -hmm. get, the it, get it hucked at you. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. Now, now we know how physics works. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it and, yeah, learn about the world. But yeah. Like, my boys love the Pokeballs. Mm. Yes. They're, great. they're so That's the best. great and they're soft. awesome. Yeah. What else you got? So I have, I sort of have two more. I'll talk about this one real quickly, which I talked about a couple of podcasts ago when I finished yeah. it. This is my, what I call, Ranunculus Remix. Um, that I made out of Nev, and I what I did was I mirrored. I love the top part of the ranunculus pattern with um, you know the twisted stitches or the slip stitches and mm -hmm. the other slip stitches, and I omitted the flower part, what I think of as the flowers, and then I just mirrored the other one. 
so, so cool, I think yeah. it's really fun. And I actually, so the Nev is a Juniper Moon yarn that is discontinued, sadly. Oh. But we have a, a fair lot. amount of it. And I, this is so comfortable. It's 100% cotton. It's a chainette. So it's, it doesn't have that stringy feel when you're knitting it. It actually yeah. is quite comfortable to knit. And I think I am going to pick a color and make one more of these. Then maybe yeah. this one, I'll just do the beginning lace and then just knit stockinette from there. We'll yeah. see. To see be determined. All, all variations. But this took me, I think, three skeins, and um, I do follow the basic, the original ranunculus pattern. Um, okay. I never updated mine because I, I like the way that one works for me. Hey, if it so, works, it works. Yeah, so that's that. But my new thing that I did, this was a whip last time. I think I had pretty much just started it. Um, it is a little shawl, a shawlette, Ooh. I would say. You want to grab the end of me? Yeah. Um, it is based on the Bonnie Slide pattern, which... Uh, one of our Knit Night Live regulars, um, it's her favorite pattern. She's made it, I think she said, 14 times. Wow. Oh, and nice. um, it's it's really fun and easy to do. It's You're just increasing, you know, increasing on one end, decreasing on the other end. You've got some uh, yarn overs that make eyelets in there. Um, I do have notes in my Ravelry project, um, which Amanda will, she links to all of our Ravelry, Ravelry's they're below, yep. so they're easy to find. Um, I omitted there were kind of extra rows of garter around the eyelets this i wanted this to be really light it's just kind of a it's a cottony oh yeah i should talk about the yarn it's the jadifra which is over there oh i like it um yeah isn't that nice i just wanted something to go with the linen dresses something yeah, really light just and a nice just little if you feel like you just need a little accessory kind of thing traditional yep. wrap mm -hmm. yep kind of situation is this one skein this is one skein this is actually a little bit less than one skein and um, this is a good transition, and I don't need to finish my whips, but I at least want to transition into my sure, whips. Sure, transition into whips. Because, I was um, just watching Hoagie Locatelli's podcast, mm -hmm. um, her most recent one, and she has a new pattern out for a similar shape and one skein uh -huh. shawl. Uh -huh. That is, and you know, she styles it with like a white, she's like, you could wear the same white shirt and jeans every day and mm -hmm. just switch out your... Yeah. Shawl Your shawl accessories. And right. totally yeah. Sometimes the big shawls are a lot. Yeah, yeah. But the little ones are just like a little necklace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, exactly. Just a little detail. So when I was pretty close to finishing this, I decided that this really wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Uh -huh. I realized I I don't love I like making but don't love wearing asymmetrical shawls. I'm gotcha. much more and that is it's probably it's just like something about my personality i do like symmetrical things hence this right it's yeah, i don't sure. know you know some it's just like a comfort thing right yeah so um and it was one of those things i looked so you know once i and i love this i think it is pretty it'll be a store sample of this yarn i think it's great i wear a lot of asymmetrical um so i was looking for something that was very shallow symmetrical mm -hmm. yeah um you know kind of could do in one skein it would work um, well with cotton all of that and I found it in a Spastri Co pattern that was close and it was close enough that I started with it it's called La Bis um, oh. but this is also slightly asymmetrical let me see so the, mine is La Bis the kisses on the yeah, cheeks yeah I was about to say <laughs> yeah. Um, so instead of making it asymmetrical uh, and it's a free pattern as, as their patterns always are um I, you do a knit front back front on one side and just a knit front and back on the other. Oh, yeah. So I did knit front back front on both sides. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So yeah. it's going to be very shallow. It's going to be, um, you know, it's it's going to be what I'm looking for. So yeah. I, I can, yeah, with the asymmetric or with the symmetrical, I can just, I can have the point in the back. I can have the point on my shoulder, whatever yes. it is. But up here where my ends are, that's the end of the first ball. Because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do another repeat of this. Yeah. Um, so I cut that off. So this is probably like 95 grams, maybe. Mm. Okay. And this is going to be a little over 100. Cool. Um, gotcha. But the detail I like about this is it's got a little bit of a ribbed border just to oh, give it a little bit of that's weight. that's nice. Yeah. So it helps it hang. Yeah, exactly. So. I think it also depends on how you wear a shawl, right? Like, mm -hmm. do you wear a shawl? Like, I tend to wear my shawls not necessarily like over my shoulders. Like, even mm -hmm. my my symmetrical point shawls, like, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll have the triangle in the front and then throw mm -hmm. each end over. Mm -hmm. But, like, for the most part, I kind of just wrap them, like, around my neck like a scarf. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't drape them over my shoulder. I don't necessarily arrange them like that, which is why I'm okay with both asymmetrical mm -hmm. and symmetrical. And mm -hmm. I have probably about an equal number of both. 
But I think that like if you tend to wear a shawl like over your shoulders or you I know, do, yeah, that yeah, is which often I, think I you do. I start out, you know, just for warmth, like over my shoulders, yeah. and, and sometimes I do the front thing too, more as a decoration, or slide the point around to the shoulder. Yes, and but, like that's the yeah. It, it all depends on, and that's the beauty part. Like you can find a shawl that works the way that you want to wear. Yeah. yeah, I was telling Jen, I've been wearing my Miss May shawl. And the mm -hmm. Laviana May Casparina, mm -hmm. nonstop, and that's yeah. like over my shoulders. And usually, I tie it around. I mean, it's shawls that I've done that before. I tie behind my back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, because it's non superwash, it's a little bit sticky, so it stays put. It doesn't slide around mm -hmm. like superwash yeah, does do. Yeah. And it's super light, so it's just like is there, but it's not heavy, and oh, I love it so much. That's my new favorite shawl of my house. I think Perfect. this one too. When I take it home, it's yeah, the, um, outstanding. outstanding, outstanding. I think I'm going to wear that a ton as well. Mm -hmm. It has similar qualities. Yeah, you know, me too. The, the Tosh Marina Light. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that TML works really nicely. Um, do you have more whips? I do. I have one more whip, um, and it is my sweater that I finally started my fall sweater. Woo so um, I've talked about this. I think on the last two podcasts, I wanted to do a sweater in Cory Worsted. I was thinking about Stratified. Yeah. Um, I couldn't pick colors. <laughs> it's too. It's so hard because all those colors are so pretty. They're so gorgeous. And I just, I don't know, I, I just wasn't quite um, ready to commit to that. Right. And so I started looking. Oh, and then one of our podcast watchers suggested the Aphronet pattern by Thea Coleman. Yes. Which I, love I do, Coleman. I really, you know, I liked that one a lot. I was thinking about it. But I was going to make some changes to it. I did a nice big swatch. Shatterfied is wide stripes, right? Yeah. It's it's very it's wide and narrow. It alternates, and it's got some eyelets, just like in that. Mm. It's got you know the yarn over knit two together eyelets. Stratified um, is in La Viana May's worsted book. It is, book. which yeah. we just restocked. That was on Instagram the so, other day. And that's where you can get that pattern. Yeah. In the worsted book. For now, it's the only place you can get it. Yep. Um, so I did a nice big swatch for um, for the Epernay. Yeah, and pretty this is the texture pattern that's on the sleeves and on the sides. Yeah. But I wanted to make, there were a lot of things I was going to wind up changing about that pattern. Mm -hmm. And it was just. Yeah, like I, the reason I wasn't casting on was because it was going to be a lot of math. I just right. needed to do a lot of figuring because yeah. like, the cables can vary in width across the front, and then the the size of your um, texture panels varies and everything. And it was one of those things. That it wasn't like I didn't want to do it. I did want to do it, but I didn't have like a good hour that's, plus to that's sit why down it and took actually me two years to cast on my autumn court. Yeah, right. Because, just like, to you sit down to and figure out all of the to like yeah. Just, so in the Plant. meantime, in the meantime, as, as I'm sitting here working on this and thinking about those guys and everything, this pattern came out. I was going to say, oh. this is her new pattern. This, this is what, this is what happened. I so, never did that too. And it came yeah, out, I was like, look yeah. how pretty that is. So, um, and I had, I had liked this cable. Um, it's from her Irish coffee tunic, yeah. which I don't really wear tunic shapes, but I liked the cable. And this it's has almost like a horseshoe, but not really. Yeah, this has a lot, and and I love kind of the open. I don't even know what you call those. They're like little O's. Yeah, the O's. They're, yeah. Um, so this one, when it came out, it was much more what I was looking for, with the cable more all over it yeah. and everything. And once well, I saw it, gorgeous. I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. So I had already, you know, well, I had swatched for for the gauge of the other patterns. So this wasn't going to help me, but so much. So I did swatch. Um, you know, the cable and the O's for this oh, looks at Knit Night last so week. So pretty. And I, this is Dawn. This is La Vienna oh May, Cory Worsted in the Dawn colorway. That which, looks spectacular. Here, I'm going to show you guys. Right, like, the cables look thinking. great in that Cory. They really yeah. do. And, and so we know from Soraya, so Aperne was still, written yeah. for um, for Cory Worsted. That oh, was one of the other so. reasons that I was thinking about using it. But I, you know, I knew that it was going to work just as well for this. I mean, it is a great yarn for cables. So nice. Yeah. Thank y'all. That's really beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I do so, love those. so, um, and you know, all all through the weekend as we were helping Haley move in and running to Target three times, all of that kind of stuff. I can't miss those Target runs. No, <laughs> she even went back after we left last Did night with really? another friend. Oh yeah. my god, that's so funny. Um, but it has it's, it's I don't want to say a complicated cast on, but it just um, it's one of those things where the ribbing leads up into the cables. Yep. So it is not knit one pearl one. It is not knit two pearl two. It is like knit two, purl one, knit one, purl one, you know, five times, and then yep. knit two again, and then purl one. It's, it kind of meanders all over the place. So yeah. I have a million markers in here, and I'm 
very much looking forward to later today starting the body and then yes. I can lose the million markers because once the cables are really underway you I'm, I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep a few markers in just mm -hmm. to kind of keep me on track but um, I won't need them and this I did all of this in the car through the rain yesterday that's great yeah I mean sometimes like that kind of involves kind of cast on and beginning can feel overwhelming but the thing is it pays off so nicely oh yeah end. yeah like there's nothing like when like the ribbing flows right into oh, it's, it's so, so pretty. pretty it's so so, so nice. pretty yeah i think i was Such driving a nice touch gene and Haley both a little crazy yesterday because they're they're like they wanted to go do this i'm like fine but i need to finish my cast i need to i need to finish getting my marker set Don't up understand <laughs> the marker set up well because it's one of those things i knew okay. once i had the marker set i could do it in the car but yeah. i didn't want to be trying to set oh, it up gosh, in the car right. well because uh, even you know just the markers flying everywhere with the markers flying and and <laughs> kind of keeping the the chart balanced on my knee it's mm -hmm. like no you need to be sitting yeah. for that yeah. so absolutely yeah. so do cocoa nuts yeah, true, but not in the car. But not, it's not like, in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't Hard do that. Exactly, car. exactly. So and for me, you can't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm very excited that I'm gonna get onto the cables later today. Oh, that's gonna yeah. be so nice. It's gonna be so pretty. Thank you. So that is my that is my main Excellent. whip at this moment. Yeah. My main whip is still the anchor. <laughs> I will still get wear out of this sucker though because yeah. I am. It's gonna almost, be warm for a while. It's, it's gonna be warm for a while, and honestly, most this is the kind of thing I wear through mm -hmm. November. Mm -hmm. But you know what it is? Is because I did actually work on it a little bit during vacation, and I went into the ribbing, and then I tried it on, and I was like, no, I need it a little bit longer stuck in it, so I pulled mm -hmm. it back. Uh huh. I, and it was only like two rows, so it wasn't a big deal. And then I put it aside for a while because you know what? Then I was like, we're just gonna take a little break. You were mad at it? Yeah. I was mad at it. I was holding a grudge. Um, and so now I think I, like you can kind of see where I pulled it back to. So now I've got an additional inch um, uh, and I'm about ready to start the ribbing, which will not take me very long. And are you going to try it out again next. though or are you just going to go for it? I'm torn. Well, yeah. I should try it on again, but you trying it on again means putting it on. Putting it on your cord. Putting it on my cord. See, I have them in my I, I've yeah, been carrying these around because I was thinking I may actually put I it on the cord and just see how I like how the ribbing is sitting before yeah. I start the body. I mean, I That's should. That's one reason do I that. didn't start it last night. But it's so it takes ten minutes. It's so it's easy to do. So, so does knitting some of the ribbing, trying it on, and then being like, "Oh crap!" No, oh, yes. that takes way more time. <laughs> I know. This is the do as I say, not as I do, because inevitably, like in classes and in the sweater classes, people will be like, "Oh, what do I do?" I'm like, "You gotta try it on." I mean, yeah, yeah. to try it on. But like, like it, how? Pays, well, it, it saves time in the long it run. Absolutely so it's worth saves it. time. Strings are made for lazy people, Jim. I know, <laughs> and that's why I have them. But like, this is a hundred percent. Like in the class, I'll be like, "You must do this." I'm like, "Not must," but I'm like, "You really ought to." Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, It'll, do I do that? It will benefit to you. No, I don't. Why? No. Because I'm lazy and I don't learn from my mistakes. Let's be real. <laughs> um, and also, sometimes it's because like my knitting bag is upstairs, and that requires me to go upstairs, and I'm like. Or I'll just, like, you know, throw my arm in through the neck and see if it hits the right place and then, like, wing it. Mm -hmm. I know. And sometimes right? that works. Sometimes yeah. it, sometimes it, the problem is, is that when it works, that reinforces the behavior. Very true. Very and true. And therefore, I continue yeah. to do it. Yeah. Got so, again, do as I say, not as I do. So, mm -hmm. this is my only, what, this is in, um, um, the linen, the Juniper Moon Farms linen. Damask. Damask. Thank you. My mind blank. Um, but I actually think this will be, this will still be a great, like, transitional thing. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, if it had been colder up at the Cape, I probably would have finished it up there. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't need it immediately, and yeah. it's hot. Yeah. So I wasn't going to wear it. Mm -hmm. Um, but now it's going to get cooler, and I'll wear it. And then I will really commit to deciding what the fall sweater class will be. Mm-hmm. That is important. I have no idea. People want to know. And people want to know, and people have given me great suggestions. If you have further suggestions, I'm looking at a DK weight sweater. I don't know color work. I don't know texture. And I got to I got something Jim would wear. Something I, was, I would wear. I was reminded this was a criteria. Yes, this is a criteria, is a criteria. Something criteria. that I will wear. Yes. Um, which is not the best criteria to choose for classes. But, but hey, if you're going to make it, you want to wear it. No negative E's. Sorry. No, I don't do negative E's. But I will teach you how to do it negative. Uh, how to teach if you, you how wish. to do negative yes. if right. you wish. Mm -hmm. If I was in your class, you'd have to convert a positive e sweater to a negative e sweater. You can do that. That's I mean, easy. 
Yes, I yeah. That's not hard. Knit fewer stitches. <laughs> yeah. Make a smaller stitch. Go down the size. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. There you go. So what whips do you have? Well, um, I just put my whip on my pearl strings in like the three minutes we've been sitting here. So much effort. It's not any effort. <laughs> it's just me being crazy. <laughs> okay. And, um, okay. So I posted this, well, first of all, let me just say today, because I always forget, I'm wearing Zweig by Caitlin Hunter. Yes. I love that Zweig. It's so yeah. pretty. It was, I make it's that slightly Zweig. cool today. Yeah. Um, so I pulled out a sweater to wear. So. Yeah, I pulled up my Zweig, which is a, it, the pattern is written to be long sleeves. Um, our, it was our first wool walk, and mm -hmm. I had short sleeves, so I bound off, and I said, I'll put long sleeves on later. It's so cute with short sleeves. Four years ago. That was four years ago. It's and so, it's adorable. It's so, yeah, and I like it. Yeah. It's and also, I feel like with those, I mean, those colors to me are more like transitional colors, not yeah. like dead of, I mean, you could certainly wear them dead of winter too. Yeah. But I don't know. I have definitely this thing about colors and seasonality and everything. Yeah. So. It feels like like that fall, It feels like a spring. spring slash fall sweater. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. totally. So. Um, so anyway, yesterday, well, since I finished my August project, that gave me permission to start my fall projects. Yay. Yay. So I had taken home from last week, we got the new colors of Wolf Walk Luft, which are sitting yep. right there. Nice There's three basket. new colors. So um, I'll put a picture in here um, of the three new colors, but one of them, when we saw them, this the sample this summer, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's what I'm doing. My I think we were all like, that's an Amanda color. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. My Magnolia Bloom mm -hmm. by Camilla Vaughn. And so that's what I cast on this week. I think this is going to be a one week maybe two week project. This will yeah. probably be done by the next podcast. Um, mm -hmm. And I cast it on Saturday morning. Um, but so I posted pretty. a progress picture in our Instagram stories on Saturday. And I asked y'all, do you think by today's <laughs> podcast, I'm going to be done with the yoke? And y'all are so confident in me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had um, quite a bit of time on this must have been Monday morning, right? Mm -hmm. This was yesterday, so it must have been Monday. Yeah, because I said mm -hmm. post by tomorrow. Um, so I actually had quite a bit of time on Monday morning. It was Labor Day. We didn't have any plans. We weren't traveling. What? I mean, I did have plans, um, which is why y'all were optimistic. You didn't know all my plans. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I had uh, quite a bit of time Sunday. Monday morning, and I had finished on Sunday, I finished the folded, so this pattern starts with a folded um, neckline, mm -hmm. yeah, so you just knit like it's double so the width of knit one, purl one, and then pick up the cast on, mm -hmm. and knit down, so knit it, it makes a nice plush mm -hmm. um, collar, and then you go right into the lace pattern, which is at the top, and after you finish the lace, it's just zoom, 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 knit, 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 stock and knit. Yep. Until the body and the sleeves are done, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And what size needles? Um, this is on 10.75, which is a 7 oh, millimeter. That goes. So like good. I said, I'm going to finish yeah. this by the next podcast, no problem. Because I am almost, but not quite, done with the yoke. Release. Yeah, mm -hmm. over 95% of you guys oh. thought I was going to be done with this by today. Ha ha ha. I had a picnic yesterday. I had to take uh, three children shoe shopping for oh. first day of school at the mall. Um, yeah. and I still thought I was going to get done, um, and then I had to fold two loads of laundry last night, had some, like, family stuff going on, and so, like, by the end of folding two loads of laundry, it was midnight, and I finished two rows, and I'm like, I can't finish this yoke by today. Oh. Um. But so close. So, so close. I have ten rows left in the yoke. Oh. It's 44 okay. rows, and I'm on, like, maybe less, maybe, like, eight rows left. So, yeah, I mean, I'll finish it on my conference call at noon. <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm. very close, but not quite. But I put it on the, um, I put it on the... Pearl I, strings? Yes, on the pearl strings, and I'm, like, totally vibing with Black Pearl Magic today. You really so are. I have my Black Pearl Magic bag. I have my Black Pearl Magic mm -hmm. beginning of row marker. So <laughs> the pearl strings coordinate with all of the above. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And, and your outfit. I oh, see. I told you. I have my little yeah, new yeah. Yarn um, More to come on that eventually, but not right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, they exist. They're so cute. Um, but anyway, so here's the Magnolia Bloom. And 
Do, 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 do. It's such a, there's a few baubles in here and lace. And it's going to be so pretty. And it was super fast, obviously, because I did that. 10.75 needles, man. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Um, and that wool faux block is just yes, it's so delicious. delicious. Mm -hmm. We started carrying the block, what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I wanted to knit a sweater in it because I love a fast, cozy sweater. Yeah. Um, and I just love this fiber. It's delightful, but I hadn't, I didn't know what I was going to make. I mean, a lot of, I love the aesthetic of the wool folk mm -hmm. stuff, but it's not my personal style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which is a little more floral or a little bit more negative ease. And a lot of theirs is more architectural and positive and ease oversized, garments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not stuff that I necessarily would wear. Um, so what I did was I went on Ravelry and on yarn labels right it tells you what the recommended gauge of the yarn is and that's usually the gauge that would be good for sweater knitting right like sock mm -hmm. knitting is knitted a tighter gauge than what's on the label mm -hmm. yeah right and a lot of times shawls are knitted a looser gauge than what's on the, on the label but if you want a good sweater fabric generally the gauge on the label is a good indication yeah so i put into ravelry that's one of the things you can search and filter patterns by is yeah. the gauge mm -hmm. So I took the gauge from the label, put it into Ravelry, searched for sweaters, and saw what sweaters came up. Yeah. Nice. Sort of by like hot right now or like most um, most favorite, you know, favorite. Most favorite yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. And this was the right gauge. Now this pattern was written for a I think a DK and a DK and mohair and mohair, mohair held together. Like held yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, but. Guess what? Luft works amazing. Is the same. The gauge, gauge is yeah. perfect. Gauge. Yeah, and it's it's going to be fantastic. So I'm super happy with this. Don't be afraid to use the advanced search in Ravelry. Oh, I feel yeah. like that is the way to find things. It is. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. People are like, you can down. always find things when I can't. I'm like, yeah. That's like you because you it. exactly. Because I don't go for regular search, search and no. like search no. DK Way sweater. I go to advanced search. I click sweater on the side and I click the DK weight and mm -hmm. then yes <laughs> and even filter other things do you want yeah. a cardigan do you want a yep. pullover short you know do you want it raggy do you want it for a child or seven sleeves, sleeves. or yeah. yeah seam yes yeah. everything like seam you everything. can you can really drill down and if the more yeah. targeted your search is the more likely you are to find things that are what you're looking for yeah and then you find Definitely. sometimes you find these like hidden treasures absolutely that are, like, just yeah. stunning and you're like I never would have it yeah. never would have come you wouldn't right. come across or it, you forget but. about it yeah, or yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, that, yeah, I and then favorited you, this you, three years you ago. You find them, and then they're in your favorites. It's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, there were like a couple that. where I was like, <laughs> apparently I purchased this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when couldn't tell you. Probably, <laughs> when, probably when it came out. Not only is it my favorites, it's right. in my library. Probably when I was on a like, I'll buy a bunch of. Oh look, they're having a sale. Or when they're having the sa sale. Right. Yeah, the designer has a sale. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, I forgot I liked this. So I love it. <laughs> are we gonna lose you in five minutes, Amanda? Yes, we are. All right. So, so we, let's, we have we have one quick thing we should talk about. <gasps> oh, we have two quick things. And you have two that. Things. So okay, talk about that real quick. Talk about that one first. This one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Like I promised last time. Because we can continue. We have the very last. Pokemon and Spalman. <gasps> oh yes. From Molly Girl. Aww. This is the end. Number 12. Number 12. I am not caught up on my knitting. It's going to get done probably over the winter. Mm -hmm. with the rest of the squares and stuff. But that's good timing. And which yeah. is this? The legendary collection? Is this that what it is? This is like the final big guys that you want to fight the final four with. Yes. Um, so, er, let me pull my guys up. Let me I pull love out. that blue. It's <laughs> really pretty. So who's, who's blue? Is it Gyarados? No, oh. Articuno. <gasps> Articuno! I love Articuno. Articuno. Yeah. So it this is Articuno. Cute. Articuno and I have a um, have a complicated relationship. So, so uh, um, <laughs> yes. So in Pokemon Go, Articuno was the first legendary to come out in raids. I was not a high enough level at the time. I was like level twenty six, mm -hmm. which is a little bit low to catch. A legendary in a raid and especially at that time I think they've make it, made it easier. They have. But at that time it was like I couldn't do the spiral throws very well. What do you call that? Curveballs. Curveballs. I couldn't do the curveballs <laughs> well. <laughs> I wasn't quite high enough level. I did 12 Articuno raids. Oh my gosh. Could not catch a single one. I literally stopped playing Pokemon Go for over a year because it made me so heated <laughs> that I couldn't catch <laughs> Articuno. Couldn't catch this. And then Pokemon Let's Go. Let's Go 
Pikachu. Oh, yeah. Let's go Pikachu is what Eric played. I was playing that too. I got to the um, cave, ice cave, where you catch Articuno. Eric played on my account and traded my Articuno <gasps> to the professor. Oh. Oh. I know. <laughs> so not only could I not catch Poke Articuno in Pokemon Go, I also lost my Articuno in Let's Go Pikachu. So I have a little thing with Articuno. Not to mention, I'm on team whatever this team is. The blue yeah, team. you're on the blue team. I'm so on the blue team, and I didn't have freaking Articuno. So I anyway, have two. well, I have one now well, because yeah. I'm higher yeah, level, and it's like super crazy high level. <sighs> That just shows how much you love Eric. <laughs> oh, that he's yeah, still yeah. breathing? Yeah, bless his heart. Uh, anyway, this is Articuno. Beautiful bird. I think Articuno is the prettiest bird. It is. Anyway, it's other very, birds it's are Moltres. Are they all I love birds? Moltres. He's the fire Yeah, bird. they're all birds. Uh -huh. um, and actually, Moltres was the one of the first, was the first shiny legendary I ever got in Pokemon. Let's Me go. too! Yeah. I got him as part of like um. They're so pretty. Shiny. Yeah, they are a little more red. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I have a shiny Moltres. And That's beautiful. Colors. That is really pretty. Yeah. Those oranges, love it. Yeah. Um. And then, I think he's so funny. Zapdos. Yeah, I love Zapdos. <laughs> so Zapdos is the yellow bird, electric yeah. type bird. So. When it's Piccadilly Circus here at Yarny today. The phone's ringing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you may or may closed. not be able to hear it, but we can. It's, hear it. yeah. it's Tuesday. We're probably closed. Can. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so this is Zapdos. And so these are the three legendary birds yes. that are like in the original Kanto region Pokemon. And then you have the, the legendary, you have Mythicals, right? Yeah. So then the Mythicals are these guys. You'll remember I made the little um, crocheted Pokemon for Eric and Charlie's mm -hmm. birthday. So mm -hmm. Eric's favorite two Pokemon are these guys. Oh, I made wow. him Mew. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is Mew, and I'll put a picture in of Mew that I crocheted here. Right, so Mew that I crocheted is here, and this is Mew, the color. This is perfect for Mew. Yeah. And then this one is Eric's very favorite Pokemon, and that's Mewtwo, which is like a created, a human created clone it's like a genetically thing. Engineered. Genetically engineered. Yeah. Super Much powerful. Much bigger than Mew. Mm. Yes, and Eric loves his Mewtwo and his games. So, this is Mewtwo, and Mew, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. And that's the end! And it is the end of the game, too! So, yay! This has been so much fun! Thank you so much to Molly Girl, mm -hmm. to Angela, for dyeing these and thinking of, like, such a fun project for us such to do for the year. Such a good project. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this has been super fun. I'm so glad I subscribed. I, I know the folks that have, like, you know, gotten every set along with me. Yeah. That's so much fun too. For sure. And even if you get one set, I mean, these I'm sure are going to go super fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, they're really pretty. Not I, I, might, like, I might get just, one of those. Yeah, well, it's I'll, gorgeous. I'll put them online tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. So, so we have them <laughs> in the fingering. We have them in the fingering way. In the yeah. fingering way. For sale yes. in the store. So anyway. um, and when they're gone, they're gone. You could do one of those little, um, the slide things. Oh, that would and be the colors. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's also talk about what we have in front of us. Kathleen, you want to start? Sure. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that, you know, half the knitting community, if not more is talking about right now. Oh, is, I'd say more. The half, <laughs> is, is the the, half that aren't intimidating. <laughs> is, uh, Stephen West's annual MCAL. So um, and I, even though I've always said I will never do mystery knit along, um, this year I actually may be persuaded. Stephen West broker. <laughs> because, yeah. well, he, he is so fun. I mean, if you've he seen so any fun. of those videos, They're um, artwork. Yeah, they really yeah artwork. exactly. And, um, you know, people are posting their kits everywhere and a lot of them are LBA, which we carry. We've got both the super sock and the cash merino. And we've also got another, we've got a new in store yarn dream in color. Um, in both the sock and the smushy cashmere, yeah, that would yes. be wonderful. It's gonna be so we thought, since so many people are talking about this, we should talk a little bit about kits for yeah. Stephen West, West Mystery Knit Along that starts October 6th. It's funny, I can hear his voice saying it. I've heard him say it right. so many times in his videos. <laughs> He's so good. He's so good. So if I do one, this is what I'm thinking. And we didn't mm, we didn't grab the so five skeins. But you said it's five skeins. So how does that work? It's five skeins, but you pick two colors that you get two skeins of each. Okay. So I'm thinking 
Coquelicot and Coco. Mm. Nice. And then you want one as a pop to contrast with those. And okay. so I would do Primary Rainbow. Oh, love so it. I think very you. Combo. It, it is. I think I may. I think I may go for it. Oh my gosh, we'll see. We'll see. But I that, that's what I'm thinking now. So I said to Jen and Amanda, why don't we all find things that if we do it, we would do. Yeah. So I was thinking about Cashmerino because it's so pretty. Uh, and this is Isle of Erin. Shocker, I picked blues. Mm -hmm. um, and tealy blues, too. And tealy blues. And this is Vespa Graffiti, which mm -hmm. is oh, one of my favorite colors. Yeah, and then so I was pretty. thinking, I was like, to pop with that, I'm like, mm -hmm. It's just a thing a little bit more interesting. So the hotness. The hotness. Yeah, right? Because nice. I feel like this would be very like you have a little bit of tonal, but this is a little like woo. Yep. Right? You want that real pop. So I kind of love this. And As, also like I just wanna it's casual. That would be really pretty on you. That it would. would. That would be nice. Are nice. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll actually do. You know what I'll do? Is I'll wait and see what it looks like. <laughs> and then and then do oh, it. Oh, that would be a fun I will non project I will non mystery the mystery knit along. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a I'm not a miss I, I, I I'm not either, but I, I was so I, I was to know. so swept up last year and I loved song, the beginning. Right? I I <laughs> That's right. Um I was so swept up with everybody's the beginnings of the shawls last year. I, I may oh. do it. We'll we'll see. Um, I love these colors, so it's the it's, same thing. Like, I read spoilers too, like of movies. Yeah, I do TV. too. I like do I'm too. like, just tell I me know. what happened. I don't need to watch all of Lost. Just tell me what happened at the end. <laughs> oh no, that is such a good show. Anyway, oh no, no, no. I just I haven't the watched the article forever. when it ended because oh, I was like, gosh. I can't commit. No, it's so good. Like, what oh. if they don't stick the landing? <laughs> no, it's so good. I love that show. I, I watched it a decade ago, and I still like that one. I would watch it again because I don't remember every detail anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, you so, well, this weekend, um, it was, it was Labor Day in Montclair, which is a little slower. Mm -hmm, Let me definitely. tell you, Labor Day in Willowbrook Mall, not slow, but. <laughs> Nor at Staples, just saying. <laughs> yeah. It's all the back to school. Um, but, uh, I took a lot of pictures. I put them up online. So if you do go down to like Newton store or if you mm -hmm. did over the weekend, there were n several Lots new things choices. in store. Yeah, um, including the Lobie. I took a lot Lobie up too. Yeah. Um, but one thing that I photographed all of our new colors was the Dreaming Cashmere, which Haley previewed last time, and it was not available online, and now mm -hmm. it is. Dreaming color. Yeah, so, but I was, like, taking each color and putting it in there and putting them together, and I found this, which I love I, we hadn't even talked about the Stephen mm -hmm. West. Right. And I saw they, these three colors. They look colors, so nice together. They and I'm do. like, love oh it. my goodness. So I would do these two as my contrast. Uh -huh. and this is my pop. Uh-huh. For sure. Yeah. Like, I that would be that amazing. Too. That would be really pretty. Really, really pretty. So this is the, the smushy base, which mm -hmm. is um, uh, 85. Here's 15. our mailman. Let's. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll grab we'll it later. It. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is 8515. Um, merino and nylon base. So that would be lovely. Really nice. That would be gorgeous. Yeah. And then I also took pictures of the smushy cashmere. Mm. Um, and Amanda has to pick <laughs> the, the dusty rose color. <laughs> of course. Um, so I think this is what I would do. And I this is like that. very tonal, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this one, you've got the, what color is this? Jocelyn and Blossom. Mm -hmm. Those right? are really pretty. Which are nice reds and then throw in a Kathleen gold experience. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really pretty. Yeah. Pop. I yep. really love these. So anyway, these are my dream and color suggestions. Mm -hmm. I love that. But I mean, we've got so much dream and color. I just yeah. took so many pictures. You've got to check it out. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Love this green. Yep. No, I, so pretty. I was also thinking of picking one for the new Hohe <gasps> one skater. Uh -huh. just yeah. to, I think that would be super fun. I that's really pretty. What's that one called? Mint Drop. This one is Mint Drop. Uh -huh. I put them all online. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Put them all online. <laughs> this is Prickly Pear. Yep. yep. This like teal that. is Bermuda Teal. Ah. I love Very teal. nice. I, I do love, love that one. Teal. And that reminds me so much of my blanket palette for it's my mom. It's totally your blanket yeah. palette. Blanket yeah. palette and, and Haley's. Haley's. Yeah, that yeah. top. Her shape top. I hung up in her Aww. closet yesterday. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's a great combo. Yeah. Um, so nice. So... If you were thinking about doing the Stephen West MCAL, mm -hmm. um, you could order some of the kits. Maybe, order some maybe kits. We'll, well, we will put together some kits. Or if mm -hmm. you want like a personalized yes. experience, you know, my favorite thing. Yeah, <laughs> is like 
love to do that. You. Love to tell me what colors you like, color. and I will, you know, yeah. pull together some options for you. And even if you can't come into the store, you can oh, do yeah. that from like Absolutely. Outside, right? You'll be Absolutely. like, all right, here's five pictures. Pick one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then like let's let's revise from there. Yeah. Or you know, if if you have an inspiration picture, if you say, oh, I oh, these are, are the cool. colors that I love, I can you know look at what we have and yeah. and or pull bring together. in a skein, that, a single skein. That That's you're like, the I other one. Especially if you, if you have have your pop skein, your pop skein. Yeah. And then like let's pair it with because you do need you need two each of your main main and mm -hmm. contrast and then your pop is yeah. the one you need one of so that's a perfect way to use up one of those like if you've had, you have know, like your on your yarn crawl or your yep. your festival mm -hmm. circuit I've several of those I have so many where you're like I just can't I don't know what I'm gonna make with it mm -hmm. but I can't pass it up because yep. it's just so perfect this is a perfect project for that. It is, definitely. To really kind of like incorporate it and highlight it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are happy to help you guys with that. Always. Um, we so, didn't talk about giveaway. <gasps> we didn't talk about giveaway. Oh, okay. Okay. And we didn't I think I'm not going to talk about giveaway. I think I'm going to head out. Yeah, Amanda's probably got to go. So we can, um, oh yeah, and we had, well, we, Amanda magically disappeared. She went off to her she call. She had to go do her call. So we have to decide what our giveaway is going to be this time. What do you think? I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's see. Sock bingo is um, done. Sock bingo is done. So let's think about a question. Well, let's start with who won the giveaway last time. Yes, yes, of course. Let's that do is that. That's an easy. <laughs> that's an easier entry because it buys us time to think. There you Clearly go. Clearly, we're planners. There you go. Um, well, like <laughs> you said re-entry is hard, right? Re-entry, ma'am. Um, so our winner from last time is Marianne. <gasps> Yay! And um, the the question was, what is your favorite hat pattern, or what hat or what hat pattern would you like to make? Um, and she said she doesn't make many hats, but she liked the flicker and flame pattern and would try that one. And that is an Andrew Mowry, if I remember. I remember that too. And flicker yeah. and flame is really pretty. That's that's a nice one. It's funny. I had put I've got a lot of lucky tweed leftovers, and I was thinking about doing yeah. that because you need a bunch of colors. I think it's a really good one. It's a good way to use up like yeah. the bits and pieces. <laughs> you either need a color changing or or yeah. different colors. Or different colors. Um, but now I think I'm going to do a crocheted something. There's so many crocheted sweaters right now that I know. are I'm so glad really that fun. that's kind of coming up. Me too. Um, Crochet all day. What is Marianne got? What it was? Before? Marianne wins. We remember now you asked me Amanda to. will put it in here uh, oh, I yeah. have it congratulations on, Marianne I have it on my thing in the back that's far away it's far the away the pearl strings are sometimes upstairs <laughs> things happen this is the thing things um, happen. yes so um so I think our question for the giveaway should be have you done a mystery knit along there you go would you do a mystery knit along or are you yeah. like me where you're gonna wait until the end and then read the Wikipedia article for lost and find out what happened um, or like me who <laughs> thinks she's maybe going to actually try a mystery did along this time because I have a lot more information. Yes. Like, the fact that it's three colors instead of five colors, I feel five like if hard, I love, hard. if I love two of the colors and think that they're really fun together and really wild and lively, yeah. I, I feel like I'm going to like it yeah. regardless. I think so. So. I think so. And so I yes, like, have you done a mystery knit Have you done a mystery knit along? Would you? And, would and, you do a mystery knit along? Yeah. If you have done one, would you do it again? Would like you do it. I know. Well, obviously, a, good experience a lot you? of people, a lot of people do because I people like, do this all the time. Exactly. You know? And I, I do think that it's a good way. It's such a great concept that if it's your thing, it's a great way to kind of like you know you follow directions you keep up with the knit along <laughs> you follow you, directions you follow, but you better be like you follow the directions and you're kind I of know, like i know what am i doing yeah what's it going to be and it's yeah. like really fun to see something mm -hmm. unfold mm -hmm. right and like to see yeah. kind of like the designer's thought process i feel like you get a, a different a different kind of vibe for that mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and plus i think it's I mean, I think it's fun to see them, too, yeah, because yeah. you see all of the different colors. I definitely had a little bit of FOMO last year. Right? where I, I did. I loved the beginning of the shawl, but then there were certain parts in, yeah. in last year's Stephen West Mystery Knit Along yeah. that I was like, I wouldn't do that. So, you know, if I get to that point with this one, maybe I stop and wait and I do something else. Yeah. You're like, I mean, you I know there are people that do that, too. And just wait for the next clue so you can see, like, yeah. and then keep up with the progress and be like, yeah. ooh, I like what this person well, did. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think, I I think, think I'm going to jump it. in. I think I am. She says not doing though, it. Though I've, I do want to finish um, my 1908 so I can yes. wear it to Rhinebeck, hopefully. Oh, yeah. And I've got Seisha's um, Wolf Oak thing that I was mm -hmm. test knitting that I 
didn't need to test knit that I then put aside. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's a fall thing I want to wear. So so like we got to prioritize. Gotta, 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 you got to make the fall list and things. So but would you guys do a mystery knit along? And then what will the giveaway be? Well, see, partly I kind of want to know what this time's giveaway prize was so that we don't duplicate it, because I really don't remember. So I will be right back. Yes. <laughs> what was last week's giveaway? Color, color Wheel Yarn. A so skein let's do... of Color Wheel Yarn. Should we do a skein of Dreaming Color? Yes, that, that's what I was thinking. I All just right. didn't want it to be the so same thing. So let's pick. So if you are, comment below if you're planning to do a mystery knit along. And then or you if can you have win, done Or one. if you have done one. Um, let and think. let us know what you think about that. And then you can win your choice of Dream in Color Smushy, which is the 85 Superwash Merino, 15% nylon, 420 yards. You could use it in your mystery knit along if you're up for that. Or you mm -hmm. could use it in the Hohe Locatelli One Skein Wonder. That's right. That's or right. Or Kathleen's Shot. Like, so many options. Mm -hmm. um, but let us know down below. Um, yes. And then what else? And we do, do love we do love reading all your comments. It's I so fun. I love and reading the comments. I was it's such great ideas. I was so are awesome. blown away by all the hat patterns. And definitely there are no some way. that are favorites. There are some that you know a lot of people recommended. But it is also cool to hear in that way, like yeah. which ones really are well loved. I mean, the muscle burger is definitely one. Because there are some that are always like you know I love an anchor hat. Uh, not an anchor hat. Um, antler. Antler. Hat. The antler. Antler hat. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love the tin can knit, so I'm like, they're mm -hmm. always my go-tos. Um, but sometimes it's just work. good to hear what other people are doing, because yeah. there, there are things either you've forgotten about, or yes. you may not have heard of before. Totally. So. The ones where I'm like, ooh, I'm going to look that up. Oh, wait, I favored it and purchased it. <laughs> clearly, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'm like, so. clearly. Mm -hmm. I know, and I'm always on the lookout for a good kind of, uh, a good hat for my dad, who mm -hmm. is like, he, will sometimes, he likes to wear hats. He yeah. likes to wear hats. Uh, he likes, um, the worsted weight hat I made him seriously like 15 years ago uh -huh. that has holes in it that I mended and then he likes to wear that inside out. Why? I don't know. <laughs> My mother is like, I am going to s like steal that from him and like she hand it back to you. I'm like, give it to the birds. Just give it to the birds. It's fine. Give it to the birds. The birds can, like, it it'll compost. It. It's 100% wool. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> but there's a there are a lot of good suggestions for hats for him and he's so hard to purchase gifts for so mm -hmm. like this is perfect that's perfect like, yeah. here's a new Making wardrobe a with hat. new hats please don't wear them inside out <laughs> that's pretty funny layered <laughs> yes I remember hearing that before that you said he likes to layer them right I was like why are you layering is he them? really chilly it's just that he's like well you know well one's good two's better <laughs> There you go. He's like, Dad, I, I mean, he does it, he does get cold mm -hmm. easily, but he's also the man who will sit there and like wear shorts and like a flannel shirt and a wool vest and two wool hats. And mm -hmm. I'm like, you're wearing shorts. And he's like, I have on wool socks. I'm like, I, whatever. It is what it is. Yep. He's been like For this sure. his whole life. So. Uh, but yeah, now I have some really great suggestions from you guys. So thank you. Yeah. Um, and my and mother thinks too. Enjoy them. So she gets to stop watching him wear his inside out holy hat. Dude. <laughs> like, take it away from him. <sighs> she's like, then he puts it down and he can't find it. And he's like, where's my good hat? And so she's like, my that's not hat. the good hat. My good hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Seinfeld episode with those two. It sounds like it. It really does. It's a does. waspy Seinfeld episode. <laughs> um, but uh, do we have anything else? Or no, I think, I think we're good. I so, think we're good. So, guys, thank you for joining thanks us. Thanks for watching. Yep. Like and subscribe. If you've gotten this far, you probably are a subscriber. Down there, don't forget Thank to you. post uh, about Mr. Nidalongs and when your chance to uh, get a chance to win a skein of Smushy, I would pick this color. Wow, very much like this color. I know. Or I would it pick is this so. Color. It is so interesting though. They are slightly There's, different. This was a are. little bit more mellow. This is a little like truly it's acid more green, yellowy. which I love. Yeah. 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 So. Um, and the then we will see you shortly. Yeah. Um, and you can hear all about our birthday celebration of five years. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.